My guest today is Elizabeth Eves. She's the author of Wanderlust, A Love Affair with Five Continents, and recently out. I'm going to have to start this, 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 uh, this interview with a little full disclosure. Um, Elizabeth and I work together and are friends, so this can't be constituted really as a review, more of just an appreciation of this book. Um, it is, uh, you know, I'm a, sometimes a tough judge of, uh, of writing. I was your editor for a couple years, and this is just spectacularly well written. Uh, Thank it, you. it is just crystal clear prose. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Who are you trying to reach with this book? Uh, Hopefully many, many people, of course, but I think the r real natural audience is young women on the road, you know, backpacker girls in college, going abroad for the first time. I think that's a very natural audience for it. This is a story, for those of you who haven't heard about this book, of Elizabeth's travels um, on all around the world. I mean, just crazy, obscure, popular Paris, Pakistan, Egypt, all these places during uh, your 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. um, and how that travel was inextricably linked to romantic liaisons in various places. Yes. I, I think the two adventures kind of go hand in hand. You know, you go off into the world and you're adventuring and exploring the physical world, but also your emotional world and very open to the people you meet. And obviously, I'm not the first person to write about this. I mean, going back to Casanova, right. people have been putting sex and travel, romance and travel together. Well, it is the, it is the romance of the, of the road, and yeah. it is wander lust. It's yes. not, you know, it, it makes some sort of sense. But this is not, uh, I think there was a review in a competing publication, which I will not name, mm -hmm. um, that said this was the anti-eat, pray, love. Can you explain what that, when you heard those words, I guess, mm -hmm. meant as a compliment, I think, but what does that mean to you? Uh, definitely meant as a compliment, but I, I have no beef with E. Pray Love or Elizabeth Gilbert, but I do have a sense of what that means. And, uh, you know, this book is very adventurous. I mean, that was a book about eating pasta in Italy, in part. Um, and this, one of the things about E. Pray Love is everybody she meets on the road is really charming and right. funny and interesting. Right. And I think there's a little bit of something about the reality of it missing there. Um, and, you know, this, I wanted to go to the most extreme places. I wanted to go to Yemen when I was 21. I wanted to go work in Pakistan. Uh, and so I followed that desire to go to the most exotic place and throw myself in and see what it was like. And, and you, there's, a, there's an interesting thing, and I want to talk a little bit about some of the places that you went. You're quite a linguist as well. You speak a number of languages, right? I speak a few. I speak French and Spanish, and I studied Arabic for a number of years. And you won't go so far to say you speak it, but you you it's do very sort difficult. of. It's difficult. I do all right in a taxi cab. <laughs> um, and at the end of the book, it's a really interesting scene. You're sort of living this um, really almost a, 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 a caricature American dream of an expat in Paris. You're you're with your your diplomatic boyfriend mm -hmm. uh, living in what sounds like a from a New York perspective, a pretty nice apartment, and you have your own personal wine cellar, and you're in a beautiful part of Paris. And this almost seems to you a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, yeah. I was, I mean, I think I was afflicted with a sort of malaise at that point about traveling. I'd been on the road too long, right. frankly. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't dangerous enough. It wasn't exotic enough for you. It seemed safe. Yeah, it was way too easy and too comfortable. And there was also something a little bit fantastical about it. Like, I did feel like I was living in... Uh, a cliche, like right. an American's fantasy of what Paris would be like. Now, it was my real life, but it made me really uncomfortable that it was such a kind of beautiful cliche of going abroad. Thank you so much for being here. Elizabeth Eves is the author of Wanderlust, and she's also the opinions editor for The Daily. Mm -hmm. Thank you.